Hi everyone. Well, I haven't really done any videos on Maggie lately and you can see that she looks totally different and and sad but recovering. So this video is not clickbait. Yes, Maggie had to go into surgery and this is the reason why I haven't been making any YouTube videos as of late. Um, kind of really depressed on what happened. Obviously, I really care about Maggie. Uh, she's 13 years old and I just love her half to death and seeing that she needed surgery and she was gonna die really put a dampener in uh, my life. So essentially what happened is that Maggie uh, for the past four months has not been doing very well and you probably noticed in the videos uh, in my feeding videos that she would refuse uh, treats. She was very lethargic. Um, she's a 12 pound dog and she lost about two and a half pounds in about three, four months, which is very alarming. So we had to go to the vet, uh, you know, to do a checkup. Uh, we prescribed her, well, they prescribed us um, anti-nauseating pills, like for upset stomachs. Then we realized that, okay, you know what, we need to do an x-ray to see what is going on with her. And we noticed that in her x-ray and her small intestines became bloated. So, um, we needed an ultrasound for that. It was a hell of a story to go to to get an ultrasound because we have to go with super vet for that because the machine is very expensive and the vet that we go to does not provide those services. So we had to drive 40 minutes away because the vet near our house would not take her without Maggie being shipped by pet ambulance, which is, you know, I didn't like the way we were treated because we were right literally next door to them if I don't want my dog to die I mean if they wanted it as a 4 a.m. I'd, I'd drop her off in my truck and and be there uh, with her so the ultrasound revealed that there was a tumor in her small intestines and you know Maggie's age being 13 years old it could be cancerous so uh, if we didn't do her surgery uh, Maggie would have died right within couple of days so we thought it was necessary because we love her way too much for her to die and the prognosis was very good uh, the surgery uh, says that it's around 90% successful and you're able to extend uh, the dog's life uh, from anywhere from one to three years so Maggie's heart strong she doesn't have a heart murmur I mean she's good why why wouldn't I do the surgery I mean it's four thousand dollars I mean, sure, I have to work for it, but Maggie is all what matters to me and my tarantulas. But, you know, like, I put my priority first on Maggie since uh, she's been there with me uh, ever since I started university. And she helped me graduate, you know, with her, uh, just her kind nature. So we did an ultrasound. Uh, then we, then... The surgeon was readily available. Uh, he explained to us that uh, the only concern uh, for the surgery, it could be uh, leaking of the intestines, which isn't that great. It's uh, more or less fatal. So after a surgery, the last time I saw her uh, was at the vet when uh, she was sedated. You know, it really broke my heart uh, to see her um, being all lifeless and lethargic. So. Um, I mean, we've been calling the vets, uh, or they've been giving us updates, and she seemed to get better and better every time. And here I am, right now on the 27th of August, 2017, with my dog. She has a cone on because uh, she did have to get stitches, which is right over here. You have to shave her and we don't want her to open up the stitches. So the stitches come up in two weeks and um, we sent the tumor uh, down to pathology and we're gonna have to know the results in a couple of weeks. So I'll give you an update on that. Uh, but literally I just wanted to make a video on what's been happening, uh, why I haven't been making any YouTube videos. Uh, so, uh, you know, carrying my, <laughs> for my dog was, uh, you know, number one priority. So. Maggie lives to live another two, three years. I love you, Maggie. Just look at her, she's such a pretty girl. 
All right, guys, so I'm gonna let you go and bring her back to a nice bed, and I have to really be careful, and she's on pills too, so she's eating, which is good. So hopefully she's gonna get back her weight, and hopefully all is well. Bring Maggie, sit back back to the camera. Ugh, she's like a little child. She's so cute. <laughs> Alright guys, so you take care, have a nice day.